Well, hello everyone. My name is Mighty Stream and today I'm going to do your March the 2nd spiritual principle a day in a meditation. You can reach me at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. I'm hoping that you're having a beautiful day. My day has just been marvelous. Okay, now let's look at this. This is March 2nd and the title of it is Vigilance in Balance. We hang on fiercely, mistaking the attempt to control all the variables in our lives for vigilance in our recovery. That's taken from the Living Clean book, Chapter 1, Growing Pains. As with character assets or defects, many spiritual principles have a flip side. Too much of a good thing can take us down an unintended path. Ideally, practicing vigilance is being reflective and real about our progress, monitoring our program's balance with outside responsibilities, and keeping an eye out for possible danger zones. But if we turn the vigilance coin over, we may find ourselves being fearful of change once again or desperately trying to puzzle out all possible scenarios of a situation before it even happens. I look at vigilance like a fence to protect myself from danger, a member quipped. I know I'm getting out of hand, hypervigilant even, when I'm constantly repainting the fence, fortifying it with more and more materials so that I can't see out and no one can see in and then patrolling the perimeter 24 seven. All I need really is the fence. Vigilance does not equal control. It's an awareness we can practice daily, reminding us of the severity of this disease and of the horrors of our last days of using. And of course, this awareness extends beyond the past to our present. No matter how much time we have clean, we best serve our recovery and our well-being if we remain open and flexible. We keep members close who will help keep us accountable by alerting us if our fence has become down too low or is built too high to let anyone in. Even though we're clean today, we're still powerless over many things. We don't do ourselves any favors by having unrealistic expectations or being overly watchful of how others are working their program. We're not failing if we stray from practicing principles perfectly. We can't build an impenetrable fortress against danger, challenges, or change. Our goal is to stay clean today. Take action on what's in front of us and stay out of the result. I will make sure to temper my vigilance with surrender, willingness, and open-mindedness. I'll take care of my fence, but I won't obsess about it. Not today, anyway. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change. The courage to change the things that we can. And the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today. Please and thank you. How are you doing with this topic, this spiritual principle of vigilance and being able to have vigilance, but keep it in balance? This is an interesting topic to me because we always talk about our character defects and we rarely talk about our character assets. And we definitely know those survival skills that we used out there in active addiction, that some of that tediousness, some of that behavior 
if we flipped it in a more positive way, can be the very thing that helps us to keep our jobs, to stay focused on task. So there, there can be a good side to uh, the obsession and compulsion. Uh, generally speaking, if you flip it in a positive way, this is a person that's going to be very vigilant and make sure that the job is done and done right. But what if it goes too far to the right? What if it now becomes perfectionism or hypervigilante, right? What if that is what happens? You become a perfectionist and a um, hypervigilante. Now, wouldn't that be troublesome? Because now at that stage, no one can probably stand to even be around you. Oh, that that to me is amazing. How something so good and so positive can go all the way right, can go all the way to the extreme, causing us to have just as much dissonance in our interpersonal relationships as we did when we were in active addiction. There are some people that are still suffering from obsession and compulsion. It's a part of their personality. It's a disorder, a mental illness that they have. And so even though they may not be using the drug, they're obsessing and compulsive, obsessing and compulsing over other areas in their lives and pushing people away. This is the same thing with being hypervigilant. We can take it too far. And what happens, what I learned about boundaries is that we build these boundaries with no way of breakthrough in this perimeter that we've put around ourselves of this very high brick wall. There's not a door to get out of or in. <laughs> There's not a window to look out or in. So all of the time that we're thinking that we're protecting ourselves, making sure, and I recently went through this, where I was so busy trying to protect something that had been given to me as a gift, that the gift was rarely even used, hardly ever because I had to make sure that it was protected and that whenever I used it, it did not land in the wrong hands. And I opted to protect it just so much that it never got used. And so slowly but surely today, I'm starting to use those gifts again, trusting in my higher power, Trusting in God that these gifts that have been given to me will land in the right place at the right time with the right people. And you know what? That's why I celebrate each person that subscribes. I celebrate each person that listens to this podcast because that is divine to me. That is my higher power at work. So what about you? Come on now. What about you? I tell you my story every day, a little bit about me. But what about you? Where are you working on having your vigilance be shown in balance? Where are you weak in this area? And where are you strong? Leave it down in the comments and let's have a discussion about it. My name is Mighty Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you. I'm going to have a beautiful day on purpose and I want you to do the same. And I will be talking to you tomorrow.